Here's your first look at the upcoming MIB plushie. Do you want one? Join the mailing list. The link is in the description right below the sponsor. You will be the first to know when these puppies go on pre-order and you can snag one and cuddle me. Cuddle me! Don't wait. Join the mailing list now. Playtime! Yay! Look at this beast! This is the ultimate Godzilla, over a foot high and over two feet long. It was released by Trendmasters in the late 1990s as part of the toy line for the TriStar Godzilla movie. He was sold for $40 to $50, and he's so big that now he's got to live on my floor because I don't have the shelf space for him. Ultimate Godzilla has some key features, one being this black button on his back here. Press it to hear this excellent roar sound. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good healthy roar. Look at him next to my other big figures. Here he is next to Jumbosaurus. Roughly the same height, but Jumbo's got the more intimidating roar. Ooh, sounds like somebody lit a rat on fire. Look how small a large Imperial Godzilla looks in comparison to Ultimate Godzilla. Ah, uh, get out of here. A Lannard Kong from the Skull Island line actually scales pretty nicely with Ultimate. Maybe still 5 to 10% too small, but it's almost there. This toy is huge! But when the movie's tagline is size does matter, I guess a toy company's gotta go big or go home. I haven't even shown you the coolest thing this guy can do yet. We'll get there in a minute. This video is sponsored by Baii.jp. You can use Baii to make purchases from stores and auction sites in Japan. Stores like Toys R Us. Yeah, Japan still has Toys R Us. Or Amazon Japan. I've bought a lot of Blu-rays from there. You can shop the Japanese Disney store, the Sega store. You can even shop the official Godzilla store. And new stores are being added all the time. It's like having the coolest mall right at your fingertips. Baiyi will take care of language barriers, currency conversions. All you have to do is add what you want to the Baiyi cart. Start a new account using my link below and you'll get 2,000 yen of free money to start your shopping spree. Just click the link in my description and happy shopping. In the late 1990s, Trendmasters had the exclusive rights to make toys for the TriStar Godzilla movie. Well, they were supposed to have the exclusive rights. Toy Biz put some stuff out there that caused Trendmasters to sue. But most figures you'll see from this movie are from Trendmasters. This included all sorts of different versions of Godzilla. There's regular size Godzilla, called Shatterblast Godzilla. There was Razor Bite Godzilla. He might look familiar to longtime viewers of this channel. I don't have mine anymore, but you could turn his leg to make him bite. There was Thunder Tail Godzilla, whose tail swipe could smash things. Don't confuse him with Shatter Tail Godzilla, who had a power strike tail slam and could roar. Combat Claw Godzilla, who could roar and had a power strike with his claws. Living Godzilla, who also roared and had a motorized attack. Fang Bite Godzilla, who roared and could bite. Supreme Godzilla, who came with two soldiers he could eat. That's a lot of Godzillas! The line also had versions of the Baby Godzillas with individual names like Baby X, Claw Slasher, Hammerfoot, and Tail Thrasher. Along with hatching versions that pop out of an egg called Hammer Tail, Monster Claw, and Spike Jaw. But the most impressive of all of these was Ultimate Godzilla. Here's an ad where you could order one direct from Trendmasters, either by calling an 800 number or going to their website. And remember, buying online was a very young concept in the late 1990s. You could also snag an Ultimate Godzilla by ordering it during Sci-Fi Channel's Stompfest 98 Godzilla Attacks. Now, for months, we've all been waiting for the unveiling of the ultimate Godzilla creature, and here it is. This is the first time the world gets to peak. It's over two feet long. It captures the terror of this creature from the sea. So realistic. It even roars. $70 plus shipping and handling? Take a hike. He was available in retail, too. Check out this ad where he's on sale for 40 clams. Take that, Sci-Fi Channel. As of this video, collectors pay big bucks for this guy, especially if he happens to be new in a box, Lord have mercy. I got mine used, but his functions still work, and I'll show them to you now. He's got some articulation, the arms each swivel up and down. Same goes with the legs, a general back and forth. 
The tail is supposed to twist, but mine can't. A reason I got mine on the cheaper end is because the peg that connects the tail was broken, so the tail wouldn't stay on unless I glued it. And that's a common problem with these Ultimate Godzillas as they age. Their limbs connect at nubs, but the parts that connect to those nubs can rot and break off pretty easily. So old loose Ultimate G's might have some real bad limb attachment issues. Balancing can take a minute, but once he's there, it's awesome. Especially if you can get some space under the tail. Like the Supreme Godzilla I mentioned, Ultimate Godzilla can eat people. He can eat the stars of the movie. And it's pretty funny. His jaw doesn't move, so you've got to maneuver the figures in manually. It's not hard, but it's not super easy either. Welp, Godzilla just swallowed two whole people. And look, they're nowhere in sight. This guy's digesting them as we speak. To retrieve your figures, you remove a section of dorsal plates, and they come out of his back. Guess that's better than retrieving them from his ass. It's easy to remove the piece, and look how much space is in this compartment. Directly behind it is a screw that leads to the battery compartment. Ultimate Godzilla is just great. It's a remarkable mold, the paint is great, it's got some real weight to it. It commands a lot of space, but I'm really happy to have this guy. I want to play with him, but what force could possibly take this guy down during my playtime? Time to bust out my collection of vehicles from the Godzilla movie line. Like this Hornet Strike Jet. The big issue with this guy is, well, the Godzilla figures don't really fit in the cockpit. Like, it's just not working. Luckily, I have this half-man I use to fly this thing. It's got a little battle damage piece here you can remove. Wheel comes down so you can roll them. It's also got a lot of missiles. Oh, crap. Look at all these missiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The empty one on the left has a bum spring that fires the missile the moment I put one in it. That's why it's empty. With these Trendmasters toys, it's sometimes a puzzle to even figure out what to press to fire these- Oh crap! And these things get distance! You can lose a missile easy! Oh my god, it landed right between my cabinets! What a shot! I couldn't do that again if I tried! Be right back, I need to go get a coat hanger. The Apache Attack Copter. This one can fit someone comfortably in the cockpit. And now we've got eight projectiles, two of which are grappling hooks. Again, some of this is a bit of a mystery in trying to figure out how to fire the- Damn it! How the hell did this missile get under Godzilla Bowser deep into this toy shelf? Ugh, I need the dust. Ew, don't look at this. And this has a big net attachment on the bottom that drops at the push of a button. Hell yeah, this will capture my ultimate Godzilla good. All-terrain attack with Godzilla Force Nick. Wait! Was Nick in Godzilla Force? I guess that means he should go here with these guys. Two missiles in the back! This thing's got some crazy hydraulics. I like to picture Nick pulling up to the club in this thing. Tank! This is the Thunder Blast tank. It can fit two guys. We've got two missiles now, and thank God this one is on a string so it can't take off and land in my toilet bowl or something. This also has a little battle damage, but mind you, these vehicles are pretty generic. There's nothing Godzilla about them. I guess I couldn't expect them to have Godzilla written on the side, but still, these can go with basically any military playtime. To fire the big missile, you've got to pull this back and- OH I WASN'T READY! YOU GOTTA BE KIDDING ME! Rapid Attack Battle Bike with Godzilla Force Animal. No, not that animal. Can you actually imagine if Hank Azaria did this in the movie? If he rode a motorcycle with a gun and a missile launcher and he was holding a handgun? What a stretch! The All-Terrain Vehicle. That's what it's called. Another piece of damage, and this one fits three figures, which is pretty awesome. More missiles, and you know what's nuts? It's not like these missiles on all these vehicles are interchangeable. They're mostly all unique molds. Trendmasters, famous for cutting corners, made a thousand unique missile molds! With different launching mechanisms! I want to love someone as much as Trendmasters loves missiles. The Twin Firing Battle Blaster. With Godzilla Force O'Neill. Wheels that come down and two missile launchers. I'll point them down this time. Pew! This can actually connect to a bigger vehicle. Actually, the Battle Blaster is supposed to connect to the tank. Here we go. Ooh, sorry guys! 
Christ, we're not even finished. Twin firing combat cannon with Godzilla Force Felipe. You sit him down, and if you're playing a drinking game, take a shot, because I'm about to once again say, you launch a missile. And this one connects to the all-terrain vehicle. It's like I'm making a parade of death. There are individual human packs too, Ultra Attack Animal, Capture Net Felipe, Double Blast O'Neill, Grapple Gear Nick, and this is Power Up Shield John Luke. It's a shield where the sides pop out. But what is a shield without a missile launcher on top, obviously? He even has a bazooka with his own missiles. Treadmasters, relax! There are figures of so many tertiary characters from the Godzilla movie, but where's my Audrey action figure? Those aren't even real Godzillas she's walking in this picture. Enough is enough. Here comes Ultimate Godzilla. It's time to go to war. Start with the tank. It's got the biggest missile. Uh-oh, that didn't do anything. Roar, you're mine! Help, help! Godzilla's got me and I didn't even make Inspector Gadget yet! We got you, Nick. Double barrel! No, nothing? <laughs> Hank Azari is here and his motorcycle can fly! Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, nobody's driving the all-terrain crash! Uh, gulp, gulp, gulp. Ferris Bueller in my tummy. Ah, he's eating all of us like we're a pile of fish. Don't worry, other Nick is here. Fire away! Oops. Um, nom, nom, nom. I got him, I got him! Fire, damn it! Oh no, I hit the Furby! Ah! Here comes Air Patrol, we got him. Boom! Well, that didn't work. Raw, get out of here! More delicious people to eat. Don't worry, I'll trap him with this net. That should do it. Nope, now I'm being eaten. Ultimate Godzilla winner! Wait, it's Super Mega Godzilla. Is this the end of Ultimate Godzilla? Go home, Ultimate Godzilla. Okay. The end. By the way, look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Six figures fit inside of him. And I probably could have gotten another one in there too, but I ran out of figures. So this Ultimate Godzilla was sort of in a movie. This figure was scanned for the CG model of Zilla used in the 2004 Japanese film Godzilla Final Wars. So does that mean this is... Also a 100% accurate toy of Final War Zilla? Damn, this is complicated. Did you have any of these toys? Or do you have any of them now? Did you have Ultimate Godzilla? Let me know in the comments. I bet you some of you still have a Trendmasters missile lost somewhere in your house, maybe under the couch. Classic! Classic! <laughs>